For a couple of weeks now, Lagos State has been on lockdown. Not just Lagos, the Federal Capital Territory and Ogun State were also on lockdown. It was also extended to Washington State the moment the number of coronavirus cases hit 20 in Ocean State. For 14 days at a stretch, Lagosians had to stay at home. It was a stay safe and stay at home order from the federal government. During this period, the federal government promised to provide palliatives of different sort to cater to the needs of the citizens. In day two into another two week stay at home directive, and the police and other security outfits were on ground early in the morning along Egbeda Ijumu Road, enforcing the lockdown directive by President Mamadou Buhari. The various checkpoints along the route, security personnel made it a good job of ensuring identification of motorists and those without valid pass were turned back or delayed. Except for motorists, the usual hustling associated with Lagos was absent even in the area of Lagos, no thanks to the lockdown occasioned by coronavirus, which has continued to ravage the world. In the midst of the harsh socio-economic environment, residents called on the government to do the needful. It is always, always good to nip something at the bulb. If they had actually locked down when we were talking about it, they thought it was a bluff, you know. They didn't, they failed to do it at that particular point in time. Now they are doing it, locking us down without palliative. If they want to us to stay at home, why well, we will stay at home. But what about palliative? Is the, is the palliative going down well with people? There are people, if they don't go out, they will not eat. So government should look at that. The, the suffering of, of the masses within this vicinity. So we are not enjoying anything. Do you, I, I, you are getting me. So we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, not, we are not enjoying, we are not enjoying the, the shutdown. Though it is, it is, like I said, it is to the benefits of the citizen. But let government come to our aid. We need them. We need them. We, 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 need, we need them to push in our suffering. The suffering is on the high side. With the recent advent of the Awawu, all the one million boys who have decided to put panic in the hearts of Lagosians. What would the citizens do? The citizens did decide to take to the streets of Lagos, holding all kinds of weapons to protect themselves. How will they survive this period if the little they have are being taken over by bandits and, in some cases, miscreants. These are not boys who had jobs before. These are boys who were snatching bags and causing a lot of mayhem on the streets of Lagos, especially in the middle of the night and during the day. Now that there are no people to snatch bags from, or there are no people to cheat out of their wares, they have decided to take the rampage to people's homes. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Commissioner for Police, Ujumosu, has decided to visit the areas where these things have happened and has promised police presence in almost every community. The first 14 days have been problematic and this is additional this and not just that there is hunger virus in the town, there is also security virus in the town, which will even kill more lives than the COVID-19 they are talking about. Look at now, residents have become a vigilante because of hoodlum crisis, hoodlum boys. What, 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 is cause, what is resulting to these uh, hoodlums, this group of organizations, is because of hunger. And not that, no job, you know? Because of hunger. Because of hunger, because of hunger, that is why insecurity is not there. If, if there is a, a, a provider, that is a government provide something, that this thing, what happened about three days ago, two days ago, it will not happen. Because of hunger, and uh, some people live on the daily bread. Daily bread, you know what I mean by daily bread? That the daily business that they are doing, that is where they are feeding. And you lock, you, you lock them down, that they, they should not go. What do you expect them to do? Upon inviting the police to rescue them, there was also regular patrol of police vehicles in some of the areas where the thieves had ravaged over the last couple of days. Some, however, agreed with the presidential directive that it would go a long way in helping to curtail the spread of coronavirus. With 
the initial 14-day lockdown gone and another two weeks ongoing, residents of Lagos are already wondering how they would cope with the situation while demanding distribution of more relief materials to the people across the The lockdown that have has not eroded our architecture, security architecture. You know, crime in Lagos has gone down drastically. And because of the security architecture mm. we have, mm. right from December, right from the Xmas, the New Year now, the old time comes now without any security of action. Okay. And it has consistently been on that, I've been dropping. So when this corona issue came up now, and we are given a general responsibility, what we just did was to mop out our personnel in offices. Because the general police now give the director which must shut down, except those that are compulsory emergency. So with this, we have excess personnel. In the traffic, for example now, no more people on traffic because the road is closed. Mm. Uh, so all those personnel in traffic now, we have absorbed them now into the security architecture. Okay. So those in the offices too, we have brought them out. Those in the investigation outfits, because people are no more coming, they are no more coming now to complain. Those investigation actually act outfits for the police, we have brought them out. So we have all these personnel that we have put into the issue of this security architecture. So, coronavirus, staying at home now, has not eroded our traditional security architecture, and that's why the crime is continuing to go down. Okay. Now, there is no evasion. Okay, sir. There is no evasion. It's just being apprehensive. Okay. So, it's not that even not the standard that one, they may not say they know the pocket of this or that people coming in. People that we are seen on the streets, especially not Agege access. Yeah. So, because of this thing that happened, by the border towns of Lagos and Ogun, mm. where the ministers from Ogun decided to have supremacy fight within themselves. Mm. Okay. And so that's why. Okay. And immediately we got this information now, I deployed the men, I deployed the tactical team now, I deployed, I mobilized our PMA personnel. And instantly, so I increased that of our patrol. So the RRS people were, so the Alpha Patrol, what we call them, our armor personnel tanker, mm. we yes. have all this. Mm. And it turned them now because of their past experiences, bad experiences of these so-called million boys. Yes. They became a president. Years back, when they came in now, I was not yet commissioner of police in Lagos now, mm. they said they were put out to some people. So that one now, is that reflection that people would say, no, we are going to do this, we are not going to allow them. So those people you see on the streets of Agege, they are yes. not all these one million boys. Rather, those four they say to vigilante, in order oh. to defend themselves. Those are the people. No invasion. It is very apt that we have just concluded an emergency security council meeting this afternoon. And you can see all of them behind me, in which we've all looked at our various strategy as being fashioned by the various heads of security agencies. At this meeting, we discussed the increasing report of crime and criminality across the metropolis. As we have seen cultists, miscreants, and other criminal intents sought to take advantage of this lockdown to unleash havoc on our people. One of our key responsibilities as an administration is the safety and security of life and property of all our citizens. And we will not abandon this responsibility at any time. There's no room whatsoever in Lagos for criminal gangs or miscreants of any kind. In fact, in the last 72 hours, 40 to 17 hours, they've arrested over 100 suspects for various levels of disturbances, and all of them will be charged to court accordingly. Let me also assure you that these miscreants that you may have seen in videos going viral are not hungry people. They are not acting on the basis of hunger. Opportunistic criminals, and they will be treated as such by the law enforcement agents. 14 day more lockdown has been declared by the federal government. We are in the second day already and Lagos is a bit calm from the unrest caused by the miscreants call, who call themselves the One Million Boys. We hope that over time Lagos would return to normalcy and people will be able to stay at home and truly stay safe as Lagos state government and the federal government continue to battle the spread of coronavirus. I am Tommy Sergio reporting for the Marketplace in Event from Lagos, Nigeria.